what's up guys? It's Matt with Bleepin' Jeep. Today I wanted to do another update on the Scorpion Crawler project. Sort of a walk around in its current state. It's not anywhere near complete, but uh, I've done a little updates that you guys probably haven't seen and uh, some that you probably have if you've been following along on the videos. Now if you haven't seen the previous update video, you should go and check it out because I did a lot of uh, walk around, so I'm not going to do the same uh, stuff. I'll just cover what I've done since that video. So go check that one out in the description below. I'll leave a link for you if you haven't seen it. Otherwise, let's take a look. Alright, I think the biggest change since the last time you guys saw it, since the last update video, are the beadlock wheels that I've got mounted under there now. So the tires are mounted to the wheels, the wheels are mounted to the axles, but the axles are not mounted to the Jeep just yet, they're just sitting under there right now. But uh, those suckers are looking good. Raceline wheels, aluminum with the steel ring. You probably saw those when I did the beadlock video. Let's take a look up here. I've added a couple of tubes since the last time you saw it. This one here is going to hold the rear ORIs. So that's what's going to hold up the suspension in the back. That was pretty complicated because I had to take all this stuff off and drill holes and slide that in. So that was kind of a nightmare to get that accomplished. And up here, I'd I'll show I'll pop the hood here in a minute, but I've got a bar running through there. And if you can see right there, I've got some plate holding it, supporting it with a little scorpion tail cut into it. That's going to be hidden because well, just this bar right here is going to be hidden cuz the shock is going to sit about like that and you'll just see the scorpion tail kind of hanging out behind it so very subtle I wanted it to be kind of subtle the uh, rear ORI is going to be up at an angle too like this it's going to come up inside the fender I'm going to cut a hole in the wheel well and come up right there the back seats I'm going to have four seats, four bucket seats. To make them fit, I might have to cut a notch out of here and kind of weld that back together. Since you've seen it, I have closed up this hole right there. That used to be a giant hole from where I, I uh, dovetailed the rear end here. And... There's, the reason there's still a hole back here is because that's where the gas tank sits. So if you saw the gas tank video, you know that uh, there's a sump. Let's see if I can get that to focus right about there. There's a sump in the bottom of the gas tank. The gas tank is triangular shaped. So that's the aluminum gas tank and it sits right there. And that bottom goes in. That sump part sits down in this hole. And let's see if I can... It's kind of dark in there. I can't change the exposure while I've got it running. Maybe I can. Let's see. That's as high as I can go. Anyway, under the bottom here I've plated it. I've got a shackle down there so I can pull somebody if I need to or get pulled backwards if I need to. I put a quarter inch plate. Instead of making a bumper like I did for the front, I just put a quarter inch plate that's going to get welded to the bottom of this uh, tube right here. I'm not going to weld it fully so that I'll be able to wash it out. I'll have like little wash holes where I can wash it out, spray it out, and the water will still be able to come through. 
And I made these uh, bars right here at an angle so that if I hit something going backwards, it'll just kind of ramp up it instead of stop it. And check this out. This is gonna go right here. Hold on a sec. Okay, there we go. Check this out. That was made by a fan, Derek Kennedy. He's awesome. He did all that by hand with a scroll saw, I believe. And I uh, haven't welded it in yet, but that is gonna be like the rear end, I guess you could say tailgate, I don't know. It doesn't come down, but. So thank you, Derek, for doing that for me. I really do appreciate that. That is super sweet. I don't know how he does that, but uh, it's awesome. I wanna show you this too. This was done by hand also by Sam Allen from Black Metal Works. I found him on Etsy and uh, he did aluminum, I mean, not aluminum, he did TIG work. So he made this custom by hand with a TIG torch. And um, he didn't have this for sale. I had to commission it. I had seen some of his other work on Etsy, so I commissioned him to make this. And it turned out awesome. It's going to be the hood ornament. And if you can't tell how small it is, there's a. I left a driver right there. So that is. That is how big it is. That is super tiny. And it's got a uh, quarter 20 bolt on the bottom so I can mount it. So if you want something done by him, you can contact him at blackmetalworks.com. Uh, and that will take you to his Etsy and to his Instagram. And you can commission him to make anything you like. So that thing's probably going to go haven't decided where I should put it yet. Right in the middle on the front where a normal hood ornament goes, which I'm thinking more back here, like just kind of on the side, right about there somewhere. It'll have to, I'll have to wait and see once I get it painted where it goes best, but uh, you let me know where you think I should put that thing. I don't want it to get abused. So I'm thinking further back up on the hood will be a better spot for it. So thank you, Sam Allen, for doing that for me, too. I really do appreciate that as well. That turned out super cool. Both of these both of these did. So here's something cool that I had that I made, too. Depending on when this update video comes out, I'm not sure if that video will be done yet or not, or whether it'll be out yet. But there is a cooker. I made that cooker custom inside the heater core box. It pulls out. So you put whatever you want inside here. It's kind of dark over there. Let me bring it over here. You put your burritos in there. You put your, I don't know, you can put anything you want in there. Wrap something in foil, stick it in there, and warm it up. Inside here, are the coils, copper coils, and they go through the heater core box, and they come out on this side, and you run antifreeze through there, and it'll keep it at, uh, what, 214 degrees? I haven't tested it yet, but I think it's gonna work really good and keep it really warm. If you wanna see that video, I'll leave a link in the description if it's out yet. But uh, that was a really complex build for me to do. It took. I thought it was going to take one day, but it ended up taking four days to build that thing. But uh, let me open the hood and show you that. So this piece right here was the most complex piece on the whole Jeep yet that I had to make. And that is this hoop that goes across and it's going to hold my shocks, my uh, ORIs for the front end. But it had to be very complex because for one, I had to clear the hood. The hood comes down and sits right in here. 
So I had to clear the hood there. It also had to be long enough for the shock, which on the front is uh, 14 inches. It's a 14 inch travel shock. So it was, uh, I don't remember how long it was, but anyway, it would have been really easy, but I had the brake booster over here that I had to clear and I managed to do that by about an eighth inch. And I also had to clear the hood by about an eighth inch. And I had to uh, make sure that the hood still closed. And I had to go over the motor right here by about, it looks like a quarter inch or eighth inch, something like that. So it was very tight clearances. I even had to cut part of the uh, support out of the hood there. But uh, I made it fit, finally. It's not perfectly straight, but it fits. And I'm gonna need to cut it eventually right here and put a, uh, some bolts in there so that I can pull it out when I need to pull the motor. But uh, it unbolts right here on the bottom. So I'll probably wait to do that for whenever I need to pull the motor. And you've probably seen the front already. It's starting to rain outside. Let's see, is there anything else that you haven't seen? Oh, uh, I got my ORIs in the other day. Let's go take a look at those. So here are the ORIs. This is the uh, for the front. 14 inch travel. This is for the rear, 16 inch travel. And if you're not familiar with an ORI, basically what that does, what it is, is it's your coil spring, it's your shock, it's your bump stop, and it's your limit straps all in one. So with these, I won't have to I won't have to run coils, I won't have to run leaf springs, I won't have to run um, limit straps, I won't have to run bump stops, and I won't have to run shocks. You just put those in and it takes the place of all of those. So what it does is it has, a, it has gas in there, nitrogen, and it has oil in there. So you're riding on your air cushion, your nitrogen cushion, for about three inches. Then you get into your oil cushion for about another three inches, and then you get into your bump stop for about another inch, depending on, you know, how long of a travel shock you get. Longer shock, the more, the more those uh, stops can, you can spread those out. So that's that. What else do I have? Now remember, I started a Patreon page. Doing all this stuff is not cheap. It's really expensive, so I can appreciate all the support that you guys are giving. There's um, The coolest thing about the Patreon thing is I get so many emails a day. I get tons and tons of emails and questions, and I appreciate you guys doing that, but I can't get to them all. So what I'm doing with the Patreon thing is if you have questions and you're a Patreon supporter, I get to those first. So if I get an email from you with a question from a Patreon supporter, I'm going to make sure to give that top priority. I'm also splitting that Patreon uh, funds with all of my other partners on the channel here, so um, please do help us with that bleepin' jeep. No, it's uh, patreon.com slash bleepin' jeep. Uh, that's all of the updates I've got for you. Stay tuned. Hit the like button and the subscribe button so that you can see every update that comes out. We do a video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time, guys.